Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark and in today's video I'm going to be unboxing a Hemisphere S631 to show you exactly what you get when you order an RTK kit from us. So that includes the cheat sheets and all of the accessories that come with the S631. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I've got my S631 on the desk here and the first thing you're probably gonna notice is my QR code sticker right here. This QR code gives access to all of our cheat sheet information. So if I take my camera app, whether this is Apple or Android, and I hold it over the QR code, it'll prompt me to open a website here and if I open this up, it's gonna bring up a Google Drive that contains all of the information you would need to get the S631 up and running. So that includes your internal radio cheat sheet, your base radio cheat sheet, how to do a local transformation, your quick reference guide for all of our YouTube videos. All of that information can be found within this um, Google Drive link here. And again, just scan this QR code and it brings you right to that link. And the sticker also contains, if you ever need a question that can't be answered in one of our cheat sheets, just give us a call at that number and uh, David, myself, or anyone in the office um, can give you a hand and get you up and running pretty quick here. So now that that QR code's out of the way, the next thing you're going to notice is this Pelican case here. So it's got two nice security latches. They latch on really well. You can't open the uh, thing. You can't open this hard case at all when they're latched and they keep the receivers watertight um, within the case here. So you don't need to worry about the any water getting inside while the receivers uh, are inside the case. If I open this up here, what you're going to see is the inside of the case here. So what I'm going to do now is just unpack this and then we can go through each item individually here. Okay, so the most important thing that I would do before you start playing around with these receivers is check out our quick reference basic setup guide for the S631. So right here, I've got a basic setup guide for a network rover operation, and in this guide, I've got everything from how to set up a new profile in Field Genius, how to set up your project, where to measure the HI. Anything you need to know to get this up and running is inside this guide. So before you get to, before you get your teeth really into this receiver, that's what I would do is I would take this guide out, give it a quick little peruse, see what's going on, make sure you know what's going on before you get yourself um, up and running. And again, QR code, much like the case, if you scan this with your phone, you can get access to all of our um, all of our workflow guides in that Google Drive link there. So that that's a quick reference guide. And if you ever need one or you you lose a QR code, just send us an email and we can get you another one right away. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to look at are some of the accessories that are found in the case before we get to the meat and potatoes of the receiver here. So. The first little thing here is the quick release. It's a nice solid piece of aluminum that's got a quick release. The bayonet sits on your pole. It's got a nice 5-8 thread there and then this locks in place on there. It can't rotate around because it's a nice little hexagon that locks in place so it keeps your receiver nice and secure. So that's the quick release. Um, and then the next thing we're going to look at here are the antennas. So the 631 comes with two antennas. There is a longer UHF um, 403 to 470 megahertz antenna that's a bit more flexible um, and this is nine times out of ten the antenna I would recommend you use uh, on the job site especially if you're looking to get longer range radios that's what those 400 megahertz radios are for they're for the longer range applications uh, and this would be the antenna that I would recommend using. The other antenna which we only include if you request it is the 900 megahertz radio. This radio is really only useful if you're on a super congested job site where there's plenty of people using different radios. Um, the 900 megahertz radio inside the S631 can hop channels and uh, find one that's not doesn't have any interference on it. So it's it's the one we recommend if you're looking to get you know uh, four or five hundred meter range and you're on a job site that maybe there's several machines running. Um, and maybe another surveyor on, that would be when I would switch over to the 900 megahertz radios. But again, nine times out of 10, I, I would use that 400. And it's got a little joint in it. It's hardened plastic. Um, that's the 900 megahertz antenna. The next thing that's probably important to know for this, um, this receiver is the charger. So the 631 comes with a dual battery charger that um, when charging, this light is red, and when the batteries are fully charged, it switches over to green. Um, they're nice and handy. You can plug it in with the wall charger here, or you can plug it in with the car charger that if I just take out of the bubble wrap here. Um, nice little cable. It's also got two USB slots if you wanted to charge your phone off of it. 
um, but it allows you to charge those batteries uh, when you're on the road and you don't have access to a conventional um, wall outlet. So those are the charging um, implementations, I guess, for the S631, um, which leads me to the batteries for the 631. So every 631 comes with two of these batteries. Um, you should be able to get about 10 to 12 hours out of a 631 on two batteries at the same time. Um, and you can see here that I've got a nice little smart indicator to show me the charge on the battery. So again, if I just press that, you can see that it flashes green. These batteries are fully discharged as they are brand new batteries. And in order to ship them to you, they are supposed to be fully discharged. So those are those. They come in these nice little graphite sleeves to keep them um, from you know, causing any issues inside the case. Um, but those are the two batteries that they come with. Again, she could be able to get 10 to 12 hours out of a set of batteries within the 631. Okay, the last thing that's included in every 631 kit is the measuring tape. They're nice and handy. They got 10th inch on them and centimeters. So whether you're working in Canada or the US, these things will work great for you. Um, they're really handy for measuring the HI and keeping around for, uh, for those kind of applications. So the other two items here, before I get to the antenna that I've included, just so you, you can see what they look like, are the base radio and the power cables that we have available for the 631. So the 631 has two ports, a 9-pin and a 5-pin port. Um, the 9-pin port, you really will never have to use. It's really only for um, some diagnostic stuff and some very, very niche applications that I don't think um, I've seen anybody use. Everything you can get out of the 9-pin port, you can now get out of the 5-pin port. Um, so these base radio cables has, you know, a nice big 5-pin limo for the Satel, Harkson, any uh, conventional base radio, and then a 5-pin uh, limo port to the receiver, and then a nice um, plastic molded SAE plug um, to hook it up to a 12-volt battery or something along those lines. So again, nice and handy to have uh, if you need to get that extra range that you need um, from an external radio. And then the final little accessory here is the power cable. So again, 510 limo to the receiver, and then these nice alligator clips to hook it up to a 12-volt battery. If you've run a receiver and you've used external power, shouldn't be anything different uh, than what you need. And the nice thing is, if you have a 321 and you're thinking about upgrading, the cables that work for the 321 also work for the 631, so you don't need to buy new cables or anything like that. They are backwards compatible and forwards compatible, I guess, um, with the new receivers and the older Mr. receivers, which is quite nice. So, that finally gets me to the actual interesting part of this kit, and that is the Hemisphere S631 receivers. So the 631, it's got this nice magnesium alloy body, so it can take some good knocks and then a hard plastic top to make sure that it can survive any um, two meter pull drops without, you know, completely exploding on impact. So we've I've seen these take full two meter pull drops off tripods, pulls, off the back of guy's trucks, and I've yet to see anything come with any damage other than a minor scratch. So. It is, they're really, really tough receivers. They're, they're really good on that. The 321s, we'd see the battery doors occasionally break when guys would drop them. But this, I haven't seen any drop related impacts now in the year and a half, um, just about two years now that we've been selling them. So that's incredibly, incredibly nice. Um, so now that I've got the body of the receiver out of the way, let's take a look at the actual receiver itself. So you've got one antenna port, which is nice. The 321, you could sometimes get the cell and the UHF backwards, but this one only has the one port for the radio. The cell antenna is built into the receiver and you don't need to get an external antenna, which is really nice. It's one less thing you can snag on a tree if you're running a network rover. And then we've got our five pin ports. So this is if I wanted to power, you know, my um, use my external power or my external radio cable, this is the port I would use. And then here is the nine pin port, which uh, honestly, you'll probably not get much use out of. Okay, so those are the ports. And then we've got a, two battery doors and our power button. So to get the battery doors open, it's a bit of a trick. It's, in my opinion, a bit counterintuitive. But once you've done it once, it You'll, you'll never mess it up again. So in order for this to unlock, you actually have to slide the door over the unlock position and then you press the button and it unlocks. So again, to unlock it, you just have to make sure this black thing is covering the unlock thing. And if you wanna lock the door so it can't pop out, you just slide it over the lock thing. And now when I press the button, I can't pop this off. So if you're heading into the woods and you, you're worried about your battery door popping off, as long as you have it slid over there, it shouldn't be able to ever come off. So that's that. And then, unlike the 321, there's no screen that you have to worry about getting busted up. There's only this one big power button 
um, with the four lights on it. So this power button to turn it on, you just hold it, it'll beep once and then go through a power up cycle and beep when it's done um, fully powering up and you know it's ready to go. Um, at which point you'll have four lights. So these four lights, the first light's the satellite light. So every time you're seeing satellites or getting new, um, seeing a new satellite, uh, this light will blink. Then there is the radio light, which will blink every time you receive a correction from your base, whether that's a UHF base or a network base, and it'll flash essentially green when you've got a when you're getting these corrections. And then the battery light here is solid green when you've got um, anywhere from 30 to 100% power. Once you're below 30, it'll start blinking green, and below 10, it will blink red. So those are those three lights. And then the fourth light, I hope, is familiar to most of you. That is just the Bluetooth light. So if you're paired to this receiver, that Bluetooth light is on. If you're not paired to it, it's not on. And the couple things to note about these receivers is they are hot swappable, the batteries. Um, so you can, if you need, you can carry, you know, extra batteries with you on the rover and hook the base up to external power and then hot swap these batteries so you don't have to restart your setup which is quite nice. And then these also put out an internal Wi-Fi signal that allows you to set up static recording, check basic functions, change your radio settings, all that kind of stuff can be done with the web UI. There's no need to hook it up to a computer and run it through a cable, which is really, really nice. So that's everything that's included in your Hemisphere S631 kit when you get it. And that is everything that is included in your Hemisphere S631 receiver kit when you receive it. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about anything you've seen on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.